Hey guys, Cassius here, back with another typical YouTube intro, and it's Monday. Happy Monday. Well, no one really likes Monday. Monday gets a bad rap. And I think that I only like Mondays because I don't have to work Mondays. But that's not the here nor there. I'm back with another episode of The Lounge. The last one seemed to went over well, people seemed to like it a lot, so I'm glad. Thank you for that, thank you. Thank you all for your feedback and your comments. And tell me all your favorite video games, I'm ensured to reply to all of the comments. Try to do that always anyway. But thank you for sharing some of your favorite video games. A lot of really crazy ones, a lot of really good ones too. And sticking with the theme of media, because this show doesn't always have to be about video games, we'll be talking about movies today. And not just any movies, but our favorite movies. Now, I know that this one might be a little hard to, to pick also because there's so many movies, just like there's so many video games. But there's always, whenever someone asks me, hey, what's your favorite movie? I always tell them that my favorite movie is Matilda. And that hasn't changed. And I've seen a lot of really good movies since 20, 20 years ago. But Matilda's always consistent. <laughs> Words are difficult. Consistently been my favorite movie. Because it's just, it's a good message all around. And there's one, one line that I'll never forget when Danny, uh, Danny DeVito's character is, you know, her dad talking to her, saying, I'm big, you're small, I'm right, you're wrong. And that was, like, the perfect allegory for adults, because adults suck. Old people suck. And they don't have an open mind, they don't accept anything, they just... gross me out a lot. And I know that I fall under the, the subsect of old people, but... old people are garbage, man. Like, old people suck. They suck the fun out of everything. Can't can't do anything. You can't smoke weed. You can't you can't bang a dude if you wanted to. You can't bang a woman if you wanted to. You can't bang. Like old folk need to get it together. Seriously, y'all. Anyway, that's a, that sounds like another topic for another time. But you know, Matilda's my favorite movie. It's a nice nice little adventure that that shows the overarching plot of the of Matilda growing up and being adopted by this lovely teacher and, you know, Miss Trunchbull being that lovely teacher's mother and, uh, it was, it was a really good movie. And, um, Mara, the actor, Matilda, grew up. As people do when, when time, time passes. Anyway. She seems like a nice woman. I don't follow her on Twitter. I try not to follow my heroes because I don't want them to disappoint me. <laughs> that, that sounds a little silly, but... Some people are garbage human beings in real life, so... I don't want Matilda to be spoiled by Mara being terrible. And I'm sure she's a lovely lady. But Matilda is definitely, definitely on top of my favorite movie list. But, you know, it's not the only movie that I like. I like, um... Like Inception, for example. Inception is a great movie. It's, people say that it's overrated or overhyped, but I disagree. It's just fun. It's a Christopher Nolan joint. How can it be bad? And while we're talking about Christopher Nolan in... Interstellar was also fantastic. It just, it was a good, good movie. It was a fun. I went to see it with, um, with my best friend and we enjoyed it. We had a lot to talk about afterwards. There was a lot of, a lot of questions. But you know, the, the theories were great. Same with the end of Inception, actually. And let's see. And I like bad movies also. <laughs> which is, which is strange. You know, some of my favorite movies are just, just garbage. Just garbage. And, I try not to be too hard on movies, I try to take them as face value, but some of them, I have questionable choices. Like, I, I enjoy everything. I enjoy, I try to enjoy everything, because I'm going to be dead in about 60, 70 years, God willing. But, so I, I try not to be super critical of things. But, you know, I like movies like After Earth, which, or not After Earth, but, <laughs> well, yeah, I liked After Earth also. That was not a good film, <laughs> but I liked it. But Another Earth. Which, it was a drama. It was a very interesting drama. Was, um, another planet showed up in the sky one day, and it was Earth, and it got closer and closer, and it was telling the story of this girl who was smart, and then she drunk drive one day, killed some dude's husband, came, got out of prison, fell in love with that dude, and it was just... It was a story. I didn't like the ending. It was like, the movie ended, and I put my hand in my face, please don't be the way this movie ends. Please don't be the way this movie ends. The movie was so good up until that point, it was just... Ugh. Oh. You tried. You tried. I still enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy it as much because the ending kind of bittered the the experience for me. And the same with um, with what's it? Gravity with 
Kristen Dunst. I enjoy that. That was a, a nice little um, love romance. Is 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 that the the genre romance? That was a fun little romance. You know, I try to to like movies from all kinds of genre. I don't watch um, horror movies as often because I have terrible anxiety, and it just ruins me. It ruins me. I can't. I can't do it. There's some horror movies that I'll watch and be like, you know, if I look at it as a comedy, I'll be fine. But when it's like really terrifying, like the Babadook, no, I cannot watch that movie by myself. I will not be okay. Because the horror in Babadook is so subtle. I watched the first 30 minutes and then just, I just couldn't, I couldn't continue watching the movie because it was just terrifying. Subtle horror is the best kind of horror because it's just there. It just kind of exists. In the back of your mind, you're always going to look over your shoulder wondering, Did I close that door? And then it just gets to you. And you start hearing things like, Alright, well, I'm j- this is it for me. I'm, I'm gone. I'm a goner. And I've been going for... <laughs> speaking of going, I've been going for about six minutes now. And I think that's where I'll, where I'll end off. I-, I spoke enough. I didn't talk a lot about, you know, other movies. Like, there's this one movie, I always remember the movie, it was a horror movie, where where hell was, was trying to take over to Earth, <laughs> it's a really silly premise, but it was, it was good, it was a good film, and I can't for the life of me remember the name of that movie, and I want to watch it again. It's not gonna come back to me, I'm not gonna remember the name of that movie, it was so long ago, I shouldn't have been watching it first of all, because I was like nine, and it was on at one in the morning on HBO. But yeah, I was, I was, I love, I love movies, and... I'm going to go see, you know, despite, despite how much hate the movie's getting, I'm going to go see Suicide Squad eventually, probably today. So, I have that to look forward to at the very least. And now I've been going for seven minutes. What is your favorite movie? What is the movie you always fall back on? What is What movie do you always watch? Just either you go out of your way to watch it or it's on TV and you sit down and enjoy it, you know, enjoy the 90 minutes that it's on. I know Matilda is definitely one of those movies for me. Um, <laughs> Triple X is definitely one of those movies. The Chronicles of Riddick. The first Riddick movie was so good. The first Riddick movie was so good. Anyway, so tell me. Tell me in the comments below what was your favorite movie. If you're new here, this is The Lounge where we talk about whatever. And this week we talked about movies. More specifically, our favorite movies. And if you enjoyed, please be sure to like the video, comment your favorite movie, and if you're new, please subscribe. I'm sorry for going full YouTube, I just have to remind myself to do so. So once again, thank you very much. Enjoy your Monday. I know that it's awful, the weekend's over, but don't beat up Monday too bad. It's not its fault, it's the first. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you are safe, I hope you are loving life, and more importantly, Thank you for watching.